party people, let's do this. Today we are, I got in the mail just now at my office, the Whitney Simmons X Tarte collaboration. This has a eyeshadow palette, a highlight, a blush. I really like the blush shade. Let's hope that the shade is actually similar to this. Some mascara. Um, this looks like just a man eater one in a mini size and a lipstick. I have been following Whitney Simmons on Instagram for quite a while now. I always leave really dumb comments on her videos. You might have seen me there, <laughs> but she does some really amazing like workout videos. She's super, super inspiring and just a sweet person overall from what I know of her. So as soon as I got this in the mail, I knew that I had to review it because I would like to support her. You know how we do it on this channel though? It is basically going to be my true thoughts. So even though I love Whitney, in the balance, that's so good, we're gonna have to talk about it. But hopefully that's not the case. I really am excited to try this out. I mean, this is a pretty neutral palette. It doesn't look like anything that you haven't seen before. You know, Whitney doesn't really do crazy colorful looks, so this looks like something that she would um, create. So let's open this up and take a look at it. The tape, these little tapey things that they use in PR packages. All right, so this is gonna be $35 for all of this. It's a $62 value. And if you use this, you're gonna use hashtag Whitney X Tarte. But all right, let's 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 look at this. We've got the little palette, the little man eater, and then this little lipstick has like little sneakers on it. That's so cute. Let's open the palette. All right, this looks a bit different than the packaging. Um, the shades look slightly lighter but not, not too crazy. Yeah, so this is kind of, I like all the shade names, we've got cut, snatched, tone up, trainer, cardio, reps. So it's all to do with what Whitney is known for, uh, which is working out. Let's check out the lipstick. This is a, it's called Bare Bud, and it is a glide and go buttery lipstick. And the shade is actually, looks really nice and kind of neutral, which I like. Then we've got the Man Eater, um, mascara in a mini size. Okay, um, also I wanted to try a new primer in this video. This is, I just got this, um, this is a Hello Fab First Aid Beauty. Uh, this, they did a little collection, a skincare, a little skincare collection for their 10th birthday. And this is kind of like what the packaging looks like. It's super, super cute. And this is a coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer. Did I read that right? I'm gonna do a little bit of this on here and then we'll let this sit while we do the eyes. Do you guys love it? I changed up my backdrop. It was like purple for what felt like a century. Ooh, okay, so this looks interesting. It's kind of like a moist, like, ooh, it's like a really thin kind of like moisturizer. making my face real shiny. I'm hoping that this will soak in a little bit because it feels like if I put foundation on top of this, it would just move around a lot. We're just gonna have to see though. I was looking at the ingredients and I'm not seeing anything that says oil in it. So I'm gonna go in with some concealer to prep the eye area. This is the Jouer um, concealer with the longest name in the world. I'll link everything for you guys in the description box. Oh my gosh, I was gonna pluck my eyebrows before I started this damn video because <laughs> even though I don't have much eyebrow hairs, there's a lot out of place up there. I'm gonna powder this lightly with the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. I like to use my concealer kind of as like, almost like an eyeshadow primer, so I don't like to douse it. I don't think anyone's used the word douse when they're talking about like a dry powder. That was weird. That was just, that was a weird moment. Alrighty, what am I gonna do with this? Okay, um, I'm gonna take Cardio right here. I'm gonna put this on the lid and then I'm gonna build up the crease a little bit. That's a pretty shade. I'm gonna take a little brush just to make sure I get this up towards the crease area. That's a really pretty shade. I kind of wish there was maybe one shade in here that was like slightly edgy, like maybe like, like a shifty like mustard or something. Me and my mustards, like ever since I started working on my collaboration with Urban Decay, I have like loved mustard shades and that thing took two, two years almost to make. Okay, uh, so yeah, I would say this palette is like, it's great. It looks like it would be really good for traveling since you have like your blush, which is a really pretty shade, your highlight. I'm gonna see how dark that goes on, I'm interested. And then if you do like really neutral tones, this could be like kind of like your go-to travel palette. I'm gonna go in. <laughs> Fuck. Welp, I just destroyed the entire palette. <laughs> I'm 
Why didn't they use the little sticky glue that they use in the PR package in the damn pan? Oh my gosh, they're just, they're magnetic in here. Oh shit, I don't know what these shades are anymore though. I'm just gonna have to try and put these back. Honestly, I don't know what these shades are called anymore. <sighs> wow, can't take me anywhere. Gonna go in. <laughs> Let's try this again with cut right here. It's like this really nice kind of a nude shade. And I'm just gonna use this to kind of blend out what we have going on here. And it's putting down a little bit of color. It's actually a really nice transition shade right there. I like that a lot. Wow, I can't believe I just like, I thought I broke the whole thing, but it turns out it's magnetic. I don't know why though. Like why do they come out so easily? I'm all easily like literally dropped it right on the table. I'm surprised none of these like actually broke. Like that's crazy. That's like such a nice light little look. I like it. Um, okay, so then I'm gonna go in a little bit with Snatched right here. And I'm gonna dip into this guy too, just for the sake of using more shades in the palette. And I'm gonna kind of build this up in the crease area and then blend out. These are blending out really nicely. They're really like creamy and finely milled. I'm gonna take a smaller brush. This is a Luxie 231 brush. I love this brush. It's so good for getting in here. Now I'm gonna take, mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. I'm gonna take a little bit of this one and this one. This is like a metallic shade, but I don't care. We're gonna put it in the crease and see what happens. Um, I'm gonna kind of put it on the outer edge of the eye and then work it into the crease. They always say like not to put metallic shades in your crease, but we don't have to follow the rules, do we? This eyeshadow is really easy to work with. Like I feel like I just put it on and it kind of just blends itself almost. I'm gonna take my finger back into cardio and just kind of reinforce this shade. Then I'm gonna drop a million things again. I'm gonna load some of it up on my brush and I'm gonna spritz it with the Morphe Prep and Set just to see if I can get a little more of that. Oh my gosh, I just sprayed that all the frick over my monitor. I'm just like a train wreck over here. I just wanna see if I can get some more of the metallic to come out. Looks like it worked a little bit. I really want to put on my Tarte Poreless Primer because, the, or actually it's the Shape Tape Pore and Prime Balm because I can see the pores on my forehead that are just about to like get covered in foundation and like show. So I'm really like wanting to fill those in with this, but I'm not because we need to see how this looks without. Also, I wanted to show you my most recent purchase on Poshmark. <laughs> yeah! Frick yeah, it's like the best shirt ever. Eddie Money, guys. Okay, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing with my hands? I don't even know what's happening. Feels like Friday. I also think I had too much coffee today because I can't stop talking. It's a little, it's a little intense. So for foundation, I'm gonna be using the Vanish Hourglass Foundation and this is in shade Ivory. And then also I've been adding this one a little bit because it's slightly more red than this one. feel like my face looks a lot shinier than it usually does with this foundation. Like it looks wet, like wet paint don't touch. It kind of looks real wet. I feel like it's the primer um, because this doesn't usually look this wet. Also, my pores are definitely looking a little more obvious than with this. Granted, that primer was not meant to fill in pores. It's more meant to um, hydrate. So I would suggest that, even though it says it's coconut, I, I would suggest that for more dry skin because this is real shiny, real, real shiny. I'm gonna powder this bad boy and put my brows on and we'll be back. Okay, so I did my brows and the rest of my, like my foundation and powdering and all that nonsense. So I'm gonna go back into this palette. I am gonna go into reps. And then I'm gonna go into the highlight shade here, which is called Flex. Like put this on your face when you go to the gym, when you wanna look like you're sweating and working really hard, but you're not really. I'm gonna contour real quick with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. So the highlight is called Flex. This is what we put on the brow bone and all that. So it kind of looks like a champagne kind of mauve shade. That is serious. I was worried that it might look like chunky, but it doesn't. So there's highlight and there's none except on the brow bone. I'm 
stoked that this is not disappointing. So this blush is called Sweat. Um, it's like a really nice like pinkish kind of neutral blush, which I really like. I like blush that almost is like so neutral that you can't tell if it's like just maybe the bronzer or I just, it goes with the bronzer that I have on really well. It is very pigmented, so use it sparingly if you grab this palette. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It has her um, handle on the front right here. I didn't even notice that. It's so cute. We're gonna give this mascara the best chance it's got. I'm gonna go and curl my eyelashes. If this mascara is as good as I'd like it to be, we don't need to put lashes on. One thing that this mascara is doing that I do like, especially if you're gonna put false lashes on top, it's building on the length, but it's not making them clumpy at all. So this is actually keeping the separation of the lashes pretty nicely. So yeah, this is this is working out better than I remember, but this this how straight this is is annoying. Last but not least, we have the lipstick to try out. Um, I'm interested to see if this is kind of like sheer or not. I don't personally like sheer lipsticks very much. So let's go ahead and try this on. Oh, oh, it's making my lips tingle. This is almost like a mix between a lip balm and like lipstick. Like, I don't know if you can see how much of that I already used, but it comes off. This seems great for if you have really chapped lips like I do. This kind of just like melts off the stick on your lips. So this could be really good too if you're just going to do a workout at the gym, which is probably why she chose this formula and this shade. So, so far, I think this is really good. So this PR package also came with this Gymshark sports bra, which looks really cool. Look at the back. Oh my gosh, this tap. Oh my gosh, it's more sticky stuff. <laughs> Wonderful. This has a really cool back to it. So that is super cute. A small. No, I'm usually a medium in sports bras, so. And I also wanted to give a shout out to Headlines um, Salon here in Encinitas for giving me an awesome blowout. They're so nice. They gave me a compliment on your blowout and I am loving it. I've been starting to get these like once a week. But thank you guys so much for the beautiful blowout and the relaxing time. So. The palette, I love the highlight. I think that this would work for many different skin tones. I don't see any cast. I just see like a really pretty glow. So I think that you could use this no matter what your skin type and it's very milled very finely. So no matter what kind of makeup look you're doing, whether it's like really natural or like a full glam look, I think that this would work really well and obviously you can use it on your eyes too. I love the blush shade. This is like the blush shade that I live for. It's like apricot pink, like I use it with everything. So I might just keep this on my desk strictly for the blush and the highlight. So the eyeshadow shades in here are something that I would expect from uh, Whitney. Like I said, I don't really ever see her wearing any bright colors or like glitter or anything like that. So this is very her. I did really like this one that I used on the lids and I like the whole palette all together. These are shades that, you know, you've seen before from Tarte. Um, you probably have these in another palette, but if you wanted them together in one palette and wanted to support Whitney, um, then I think this is a great little palette. Great for traveling. The highlight's good. The blush is good. The shades are pretty much do the work for you. When you apply them to the eye, they blend out really easily and seamlessly. They did for me anyway. I like the mascara. The lipstick shade I really like as well. It goes really nicely with the palette, like it was well thought out. I don't know how many times I've gotten a palette where the lipsticks that come with it just like don't make sense to me at all. Like maybe it would work for like, if you have like a um, really pale skin tone or whatever, but for me, I just like look at it and I'm like, the, I just wouldn't put those together. So it's refreshing that this all goes really nicely and, and together. And I love the price point. What was this again? 35 bucks for all of that. Like that's like a great little kit. Overall, I think this is a great purchase if these shades and uh, the simplicity and classicness of this collection speaks to you and you wanna support Whitney, I think that you should go ahead and get it. Also really great little gift because like how nice is it to have like a lipstick, a mascara, a palette, highlight and blush like all in one. And this is as big as it is. Like you can travel with this. Like all you really need beyond this is your brows and your contour and your foundation. And then you're like, you're pretty good. So I really like that about it. It's nice, small and compact. Congrats to Whitney. I'm glad that we got to say good things about this collection, yay. And um, I like the look that I created. I'm gonna go try and take like a saucy little sunset like golden hour photo with my new blowout and stuff. Oh, it smells really good. Oh gosh, my lipstick. Uh, uh. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.